we cherish the moments that lightens our soul. Laugh, love and freedom. But today I want a question to pop up in your mind that what if this happiness fades away? simple question for you. What do you think is the most dangerous weapon on the earth? Do you have any guesses on that? Well, nuclear bombs. Nuclear bombs surpasses all the other weapons made to date. So let's have a closer look on them. The most dangerous weapon, the effects of extremely powerful explosives that generate radiation persist far longer than the explosion. Checking up on the history in brief, we have the Manhattan Project of August 1942. The United States set up this project during World War II to develop the first nuclear weapon. Thereby, in July 16th of 1945, the first nuclear explosion was conducted by the United States. The experiment was carried out as a part of Manhattan Project itself. Also, J. Robert Oppenheimer codenamed the test Trinity after a poem by John Dunn. You must have heard about the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, right? The days of tragedy were 6th August and 9th of August 1945. Between 1,29,000 and 2,26,000 individuals were murdered in the two bombings and the majority of whom were civilians. The picture in the left of your screen displays Hiroshima and in the right we have Nagasaki. Presenting some then and now comparative images of both the cities. On 24th of January 1946, United Nations called for the abolition of nuclear weapons. On 29th of August 1949, the Soviet Union conducted its first nuclear test, codenamed RDS-1. On 17th of February 1958, the campaign for nuclear disarmament in United Kingdom held its first meeting. On 5th of August 1963, the Limited Nuclear Test Ban Treaty was signed in Moscow by the US Soviet Union and the Great Britain. Talking about this, we cannot forget to discuss India's first nuclear test that was conducted on 18th of May 1974 in Pokhran, Rajasthan. The code name assigned to it was Operation Smiling Buddha. The Indian Ministry of External Affairs described this test as a peaceful nuclear explosion. Following the test, Indra Gandhi's popularity skyrocketed. After this, in 1998, a series of nuclear experiments known as Pokhran II were conducted. On 8th of December 1987, US President Ronald Reagan and Soviet General Secretary Mikhail Gorbachev signed the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. In June 1996, Ukraine handed over all the nuclear weapons on its territories to Russia. On 8th of July 1996, the International Court of Justice said that the deployment of nuclear weapons would be legal or illegal in the case of extreme circumstance of self-defense in which the very survival of a state would be at issue. In 9th October 2006, North Korea conducted its nuclear test. Now, you must be getting curious to know about the nuclear weapons count in the whole world. So North Korea possesses a range of 40 to 50, Russia with 6,257, China having 350, India with 156, Pakistan with 165, Israel having 90, United Kingdom with 225, France having 290, and USA possessing 5,550 nuclear weapons.
to nine countries in the world possess nuclear weapons. Now, we must also know that who can make them, right? So anyone with the necessary technology, intelligence and facilities can develop them for sure, but only United States, Russia, UK, France and China are allowed to develop them because they tested and developed a nuclear weapon prior to non-proliferation treaty came into effect on 1st January 1967. There is nothing glamorous about war. It only leads to tragic misery. Remember that peace can only be attained through love. With this message, I would like to end this video here. Many thanks for watching. Take care for the time being and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for no more missing out on these amazing and knowledgeable facts with none other than Overdose Now.